The Chevrolet Corvette is arguably the most iconic American sports car of the 1950s, but it was the only nameplate that joined the still new market at the time. Nash Motors had introduced the Nash Healey in 1951, while Dodge dealer Robert Woodhill launched the Wildfire in 1952. The Kaiser Darren arrived in 1954, while the Ford Thunderbird followed in 1955. Unlike Ford and General Motors, Chrysler did not jump on the sports car bandwagon, but it came close in 1953 when engineer and race car enthusiast Fred Zeter designed and built the one-off Dodge Storm. Also known as the Z250, the unique Mopar was envisioned as a dual-purpose car with swappable bodies, a touring body for everyday driving, the one you hear, and a lightweight fiberglass shell that should have turned the Storm into a sports car. It's unclear if the latter was ever built. To create the Z250, Zeter teamed up with Gene Casserole and created Sports Car Development Corporation. John Butterfield, who was one of Chrysler's top engineers at the time, also joined in. The storm was put together using a long list of Plymouth and Dodge parts, including the brakes, clutch, fuel tank, steering system, and rear axle. The Hemifee 8 engine was sourced from a truck. However, the space frame and the suspension were built by Butterfield in his basement, while the gearbox was developed by the Spicer division of Dana Corporation. While the touring body was designed by Hank Keen and approved by Virgil Exner, Chrysler's head of design at the time, it was built in Italy by Bertone. It took nine months for the shop to complete the task, but the storm became an instant sensation when Zader brought it back to the U.S. and parked it in front of the Rockefeller Center in New York. So much so that the police had to come and ask him to move it. Fred then took the car to Chrysler's design headquarters, hoping that his uncle, who was the company's chief engineer at the time, would showcase it for a production run. The project was deemed too expensive to produce, and the storm spent a couple of years in the factory's storage facility. Zeter managed to get the car back and drove it for around 16 years before loaning it to Northwood University. He recovered it in 1992 with a broken engine and replaced the original Hemi with a 1965 Dodge Vive 8. He continued to drive the car in California until it ended up on display at the Peterson Automotive Museum, a stunning piece of history and a design that may have outclassed both the first-gen Chevrolet Corvette and Ford Thunderbird. The 1953 Dodge Storm is one of those unique classics that deserves a lot more until the spotlight.